Diagrams seem simple. You drag some shapes and you add some lines and you're done, right? But here's the thing, just like a language, diagrams have rules. And if you don't follow them, people get confused. And the problem, most of us don't even realize we're making the mistakes. That's why today in this video, I'm giving you five common diagramming mistakes and more importantly, how to fix them. Now, the easiest way to show this is going to be with an example. So here's a flow chart mapping out a basic employee process from signing the paperwork to getting assigned tasks. Looks simple enough, but as we go through it, we'll spot some common mistakes that can happen and how to fix them step by step. At first glance, this diagram may seem overwhelming. Too many arrows, crisscross, text are crammed into shapes, and even a few steps that might not be necessary. See, this is a common trap, trying to show everything all at once. Good diagrams simplify information We'll use layers in Drawio to separate optional steps, keeping the core process clean while allowing details to be revealed when needed. We'll split this into pages so different phases like paperwork versus training are easy to follow. Now it's already feeling lighter, but let's zoom in and there's another issue here. Even though we've cleaned up the content, this still looks off. Shapes aren't lined up and some elements are too close together and it feels messy. It's not just about aesthetics. Misalignment can make a diagram feel harder to read. Instead of adjusting everything manually, we'll let Dryo do the work. Grid and snap and keep shapes in line as we move them. Arrange, align, and distribute shapes evenly in one click. Much better, but now that things are organized, we gotta talk about flow. Right now, the diagram feels like a maze. The arrows are in different directions and it's not obvious where to start or what happens next. This happens a lot when you're trying to show connections, but instead of helping, it can leave people lost. You want to guide the viewer through the process without making them stop and think, wait, where do I go? Here's what we'll do. First, we'll use auto layout to establish a clear top bottom flow. This gives our diagram a natural rhythm and removes the guesswork. Now with layouts, directions, and connection points all working together, the diagram is starting to really come together. Now when someone looks at this, they immediately know where to start and how to follow the process. But there's one more problem that might not be obvious at first glance. Take a look at the shapes in this flowchart. Right now, we've got a mix of rectangles, circles, and some random symbols. It might feel okay, but each shape actually has a meaning. And when we ignore that, we make things harder to interpret. Regardless of what type of diagram you're making, you want to be intentional about shape choices. In a flowchart, rectangles represent processes or steps, while diamonds are for decisions. So we'll adjust those. We'll open up the shape library in Dryo to pull the correct symbols. And we'll apply a consistent style so that everything feels cohesive. This principle applies to any diagram, network diagrams, UML, and BPMN diagrams. Using the right shapes make your meaning clear. Now, for one last fix. Some of these labels are too generic, like step one or process X. Others are formatted inconsistently, making them harder to read. A great diagram tells a story and vague labels leave too much unclear. For this one, we'll take the example of a swim lane diagram, a specialized type of flow chart that adds extra info by organizing process steps into lanes that represent different actors or people involved in the process. We're gonna rewrite the labels to be specific and action-based instead of having a step saying, manager signs for his task, we could use a swim lane diagram to add manager to the left column, and then we'll list the steps he can take in that specific swim lane. So the step manager signs for his task simply becomes a signs task while standardizing textiles so that everything is easy to scan at first glance. And we'll add two tips for extra details without cluttering the diagram. For more information on two tips, check out the link in the description. A good diagram isn't just about putting ideas on a page, it's about making them clear. So next time you create a diagram, remember, keep it simple, align and organize, make the flow obvious and use the right shapes and label clearly. Which of these mistakes have you run into before? Drop a comment in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. If you haven't tried Drawio yet, you can try it for free for you and your team for 30 days. Just head over to the Alaskan Marketplace. Can't wait to see you there. Stay connected.